DeepSeek is making waves again, this time with a brand new release called Terminus. It's not just a minor refresh of their V3.1 model from August. This upgrade is packed with powerful changes that could shift the way we think about AI models and agents. And trust me, what they're building goes far beyond simple text generation. If you've been following the AI race, you know DeepSeek has been championing a hybrid reasoning approach. Models that don't just spit out words, but actually behave like agents, capable of using external tools to accomplish real tasks. With Terminus, they've doubled down on this vision. The first big win? Language consistency. Earlier versions sometimes blended English and Chinese awkwardly, or even tossed in random characters, frustrating for developers. Terminus cleans that up, giving far more stable results across both languages. And it's not just about smoother text. DeepSeek upgraded its built-in agents, like the code agent and search agent, making them more reliable and less likely to produce outputs that only look convincing on the surface. Benchmarks show the difference clearly. On BrowseComp, which measures multi-step live web searches, V3.1 scored 30. Terminus pushes that up to 38.5. On Terminal Bench, it jumps from 31.3 to 36.7. Those aren't small bumps. They highlight just how much better the model is at leveraging tools. There is a trade-off, though. Scores dipped slightly for the Chinese language version of BrowseComp, suggesting this release prioritizes English-focused performance. For pure reasoning tasks with no tool use, improvements exist, but they're more modest. DeepSeek has kept its dual-mode system. Chat mode, the non-thinking side, handles straightforward conversations, JSON outputs, function calls, and lighter workloads. It defaults to 4,000 tokens but can go up to 8,000. Reasoner mode, the heavy-duty thinking side, tackles complex multi-step problems. It defaults to 32,000 tokens and maxes out at a massive 64,000 tokens. Both modes can process up to 128,000 tokens of context in one go, the equivalent of 300 to 400 pages of text. That's generous even if it doesn't rival Grok 4 Fast's 2 million tokens or Gemini 2.5 Pro's million token context window. Interestingly, if a reasoner task needs external tools, the request automatically routes through chat mode, streamlining the process so the right system handles the right job. And yes, it supports function calling, JSON outputs, fill-in-the-middle completions, all the essentials developers want for structured apps. Terminus isn't just a patch. It's been trained with 840 billion more tokens, plus a redesigned tokenizer and refined prompt templates. That investment shows up in benchmarks. Simple QA, 93.4, 96.8, SWIB Multilingual, 54.5, 57.8, Humanities Last Exam, 15.9, 21.7. Even broader reasoning tests like GPQA Diamond improved. The trade-off? Some competitive programming benchmarks slipped slightly, with Code Forces scores dropping from 2091 to 2046. That's the price of optimizing for tool use and reliability over raw coding speed. Zooming out, DeepSeek's positioning is clear. Their R1 model remains the heavyweight for math and logic, but it's slower and more costly. Terminus, meanwhile, offers speed, versatility, and affordability. And pricing is where DeepSeek remains disruptive. Input tokens, cash a hit. Seven cents per million. Input tokens, cash a miss. 56 cents per million. Output tokens, one dollar and 68 cents per million. Compare that to GPT-5 at around $10 and Claude Opus 4.1 at $75 per million output tokens. It's not even close. And remember, Terminus is open source under MIT license. Developers can self-host and use it commercially with zero restrictions. That's a huge differentiator. Being open source makes it accessible worldwide. But there's a caveat. Outputs are subject to state censorship filters in China. That could shape how the model responds on sensitive topics. Interestingly, similar debates about moderation and control are now emerging in the US too. Developers also noted some lower-level technical quirks, like self-attention projection parameters not fully aligned with FP8 scaling. DeepSeek says fixes are coming. 
Meanwhile, the community is already self-hosting Terminus via Hugging Face demos to bypass reliance on DeepSeek servers. Terminus is a strong upgrade over V3.1, better language handling, more reliable tool use, stronger agent performance, still incredibly affordable, and fully open source. Yes, there are trade-offs in raw reasoning and coding benchmarks, but for developers and businesses, the combination of low-cost plus agent reliability plus flexibility makes this release a serious competitor. And here's the kicker. Whispers are already circulating about DeepSeek Vi4, and even an R2, successor to their R1 model. Whether they can scale successfully remains to be seen. But one thing is clear. DeepSeek is staying in the game. So what do you think? Could Terminus be the model that forces bigger players like OpenAI and Google to rethink their pricing and openness? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.